Hey guys, so last week I asked people what they wanted me to do a video on and the most common response was uh, how is it that it's possible for you to write 365 articles in one year, which is my current goal. And so I'm putting together a video uh, in response to those requests, uh, just explaining how I do go about my blogging productivity. Before we get started though, I should say I am in a quite a privileged position um, that I have only a part-time job. In fact, I started blogging because I couldn't get a full-time job. Um, so I have tons of time on my hands. I usually can do my part-time job. It's all online and I can usually do it within about an hour of my day and then I can get on with doing my blogging. I also don't have kids and I am pretty obsessed with trying to get to uh, a full-time income from this. So there are some things that I understand that most people don't have the privilege that I have of spending all my days working on this. But here are my top tips for productivity uh, if you are interested in making a full-time living out of this like I am. The first one is stop wasting time. And there are two things that I think people waste so much time on based upon what I'm seeing on all of the forums on Facebook and things. The first one is site speed optimization. In my opinion, and it's just my opinion, site speed doesn't matter or it doesn't matter as much as people think it does. My site that you might have seen the video where I got to 100,000 page views per month within nine months, that site loads incredibly slowly. And it's because of Azoic. Azoic's got so much junk in the header, which is the problem with Azoic, um, that the, the pages are loading incredibly slowly. Um, there's not much I can do about it. I don't like the, the Azoic site speed optimizer. I think it's terrible. So I just deal with it. Um, but it still ranks. It still uh, grew incredibly quickly. And based on that experience, I think the site speed optimization is much uh, less important than people think it is. So what I would say is stop wasting time on site speed optimization. All you need to do is three things. Auto optimize, WP lazy load, WP fastest cache, done. They're all free. They're all um, just plugins that you can download and finish, get put up in 15 minutes and then never think about site speed optimization again. I see so many people whose page speed is loading in you know, they've got the 80 in that, um, the Google page speed test, and they're so upset that they want it to be 95 or 100. 80 is fine. It doesn't matter. Get on with your life, in my opinion. <laughs> site speed. Site, uh, sorry, site design. Site design doesn't matter either. If it looks good enough, that'll do. Stop wasting time on things that don't matter. All that matters is backlinks and writing articles, as much content, as good quality as you can get up, get it up. What I would recommend is getting WP Eagles Elementor template for a new affiliate site. Spend one hour making that homepage look really nice and then get on with your life and just use Gutenberg to write your articles. So they're the two things that I think are the biggest waste of time for most people who are just starting to blog. Number two, eliminate all your bottlenecks. For me, a bottleneck was link building. It would take me days and days and days to get just one guest post. I do believe link building is incredibly important. I've looked at the studies from Ahrefs. I've looked at these studies from Authority Hacker. They look like pretty solid studies that show that backlinks are still the most important ranking factor. In fact, just from as, as an anecdotal thing as well, oftentimes we'll all see that an article is ranking above our article even though it doesn't have as good search intent or user and um, it doesn't have it doesn't meet the user's search intent as well as yours. Usually the reason that article is ranking above yours is because it's from a more authoritative site and it's probably got better backlinks pointing to it. So I do believe backlinks are very important. Another thing that I disagree with income school on. This is what took, wasted my time. I would have to find potential sites. I'd have to find their email addresses. I'd have to send them cold emails. I might get a few responses. Then we'd negotiate what I would have to write. And then I would write the post. And then I'd get, we'll do a back and forth for editing. And then finally, a couple of months later, they'll finally bother putting the post up. It would take forever. So now I have a regular monthly pl plan with great outreach agencies who do my outreach for me. It's excellent. It does cost me a lot of money. I reinvest the money from site one to build my links for site two. But it got rid of a bottleneck so I can spend my time on what's most important and what is most efficient for me, which is writing articles. 
Number three, batch your keyword research. Dedicate one day to keyword research. In fact, it's, it's quite easy. You can just go and, you know, at the end of a day, you can sit down and do it while watching TV. Come out with 50 to 100 keywords to target and then laser focus, don't let go of writing until you've written all 50 to 100 of your keywords. And number four, challenge yourself with stints. I usually do a buyer keyword stint. So at the moment I've got a buyer keyword stint for site two. I'm trying to write 40 buyer keywords. Once I finish that stint, I'll do another stint of info keywords. I'll also switch between sites so I don't get too bored because usually by the end of one stint, I am sick to death of writing that same, um, those same types of articles for that same website. So I try to mix it up for each stint. Number five, dedicate time and space. This is how I do it. And I understand that I'm in a very lucky position. And this is before coronavirus. I've kind of, it's kind of messed us up over the last couple of weeks. But morning at 9.30 in the morning, I turn up at my cafe. It's the best cafe I've found in Vancouver. They have excellent coffee. I know my barista. My barista knows my order and I have got a seat. I'll turn up at 9.31. I'm already sitting there starting to write my articles. I'll usually stay there until about 12. I'll have a couple of coffees, maybe a muffin. I'll come home and during the day, I'll do my day job. It'll usually only take me about an hour. So I'll do my day job stuff have uh, some lunch, and then I'll usually do my exercise for the day. And I usually spend an hour, an hour and a half exercising. And then between four and seven is happy hour at my favorite brewery. So I go to my favorite brewery. Yes, I know my bartender. Yes, they know my favorite order. And I'll sit down at my favorite seat at the brewery. Might have a chat with the bartender for a bit, but usually I'll try to write another article. I'll also make sure that before I leave the brewery, I've prepared my articles for the next day. That will include writing the H2 and H3 headers for the articles and doing all the formatting. So for example, if it's a buyer article, I'll make sure that I've inserted all of the images from Amazon so that when I wake up the next morning at 9.31 the next morning, when I'm at the cafe, I'm writing my post. I'm not dealing with formatting issues. And then rinse and repeat 50 times in a row Usually I'll be able to get a little bit more than one article done per day. So when it comes to weekends or when my partner's not at work, she and I can go for a hike or we can go for a ski or something. And that's it. I just rinse and repeat. It's not very complicated. Um, I do have writer templates and I am planning on doing a video on all my writer templates that do speed things up a little bit, but mostly it's just dedication and focus. And the fact that I do treat this like a business, um, I have a very business focused mindset because I want to hit that um, passive income as soon as possible. So if you have any more questions about this or any other topics that you want me to tell you about, feel free to post them in the comments. Other than that, um, I'll try to share my uh, writer templates as soon as possible.